Warren, in the past week, PlayStation has announced some new developments with its virtual reality headset. Where are we at when it comes to the world, the universe of virtual reality? I don't think Sony have released anything totally revolutionary. It, it is an evolution. But what, what's sort of happening at the moment is there are a number of big players making fairly large bets on it. We've got Meta or Facebook, as it used to be known, touting their forthcoming metaverse, Microsoft signalling they're going to be in on the act. But interestingly, Apple have ruled out the metaverse. Have they? Um, yes, they have. Even though there's rumoured development with a virtual reality headset for them. Warren, is this a little bit like 3D was 15 years ago? There was all kinds of talk about 3D invading our homes, invading our lives, never really happened. Do you think virtual reality is going to be the new 3D? It could be, but it might not be either. It's very hard to predict where this technology will go. Meta is working on their metaverse with the aim of drawing together a number of their their threads. They own Oculus, which is one of the immersive 3D platforms, but they've also got their portal and they've partnered with Ray-Bans for a of sunglasses you know that can augment reality somewhat and record reality around them right in a cool uh, way so that, yeah you know in, in a kind of cool way and possibly an invasive way as well who knows they're looking to try and draw together some of their product lines into a social platform so they're making a pretty big bet on it yeah okay and i don't know much about this warren you do but i can see that there are a lot more applications in everyday life in all kinds of situations for virtual reality augmented reality than what there were for say 3d tv so what do you think are some positives and some negatives if we head into a future of virtual reality Taking Microsoft, for instance, they've for a number of years been working with their HoloLens, which is an augmented reality rather than virtual reality platform. And what's the difference, are, Warren? Augmented reality is basically you're looking at the world around you through transparent glasses, but superimposed on that is digital information. So yes, like that Pokemon what, game that was out a couple of years ago. Yeah, yeah. In lots of ways, just like that. Yes, you know, whereas virtual reality is much more immersive. Is much, much more immersive. In fact, you're, you're likely to trip over the cat if it gets in, in your way, you know, <laughs> as if we're wearing virtual reality glasses. If you've experienced any sort of conference, church, meeting through just standard uh, video technology, it's not particularly immersive. You don't feel connected with the people around you. Virtual reality will make the stuff much more immersive. You'll feel a stronger connection to the people you're meeting with. Disabled people, people who can't leave a house on a consumer level, this will be a significant development, I think. However, it's got some downsides too. The platforms are developed by commercial enterprises. No doubt Facebook want to plant a whole heap of advertising in amongst the, their metaverse. You mean that because companies are developing this for their own profitable aims that we should be wary of why and how they're developing it? We should. Not scared of, but wary of. Facebook aren't doing this for our benefit. They're doing it for their benefit. Coincidentally, we may benefit you know, from that. And Warren, what do you think God makes of virtual reality? I think God can make use of any technology that we invent. A good number of centuries ago now, someone came up with the idea of books, printing presses. God has certainly used those. Mm. There's plenty of printed Bibles out there in the world now. And at the time, there were plenty of people saying, this is doom for the church now because anybody can read the Bible for themselves. In the 1960s, when we had TV, plenty of people suggesting it was the end of civilization. It hasn't been. Again, God does use that. You know, we've seen that during the, this pandemic. We've had YouTube streaming through our TVs. Mind you, there's been some fairly bad uses for TV as well, as there has been for books. But God can and does use these technologies. So I don't see virtual reality being any different to that.